Welcome back to ARCRVA. Today we've got another review. Yes, I said we should be having a review. Maybe, maybe an update. We got a review. Uh, some time ago, and I'm missing part of this review here. You know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached to me. Because it has my brain. Got two things that we bought recently. And, you know, reviewing them, give them a good month test. Although this has been a little longer than a month. We are ready for it. On Amazon, picked up this, uh, I've actually got it out of the box, we've been using it, picked up this, uh, focus, pop-up, mobile external DVD drive, for 10, 20 bucks at most, is what, you know, paid for that <clears throat> and then we also picked up because I've been really wanting to get one of these because I just don't have enough USB ports on the desk this Unitech uh, USB 3 port hub with a multi in one card reader now this actually has a micro SD card reader in it which is really awesome and it's also one of the reasons I chose it so, let's start this double review review. Double review review. Wow. Say that three times fast. With the external DVD ROM burner. Um, picked it up, it's really cheap. Uh, it works, okay? It, it works. However, I had to take it apart because certain, like, if I put a DVD in, it, it was reading some DVDs, not all of them, and then I tried burning a disc. It wasn't. It couldn't even burn a DVD, okay? Here's what was in it. Focus on the drive, not me. Thank you. I swear, this camera is losing it today. It has an HP Super, Mul Super Multi DVD Writer in it. Okay. Well, I had to take it apart. And it is Serial ATA. Let's see. I had to take it apart take this drive out now because I did a lot of repairs in my time I also I don't know it may not have been an HP hang on it wasn't an HP it was a uh A model DVR dash Tango Delta one zero Romeo Sierra. I showed you the wrong drive. Here's the drive that was in it. Right there. Oh. Oh, you can see that part of it. Right there. That's the drive that was in it. I really need to set this aside, like, right now. Come on, guys. Bear with me for a second. There we go. It's set aside. I had to change it out because we had reading issues. We had burning issues. Other than that, it worked. So, <clears throat> if you're in a pinch, it's worth it. Yeah. There it is, right there. 
Um, it does have USB 3, which is a very good plus. It doesn't read much faster than if you had one internal, though. That I did notice, and I think we might do a comparison test later, just to prove this fact. I gotta figure out how to do it first, but I think we're gonna do that. So there's that. On for the second part of our review of a review. Well, our double review review. You know what I mean by now. The Unitech USB 3.0 hub with a multi-card reader in it. Uh, it is on the desk right now. A little blue light near the power supply on the desk. Right about there. That's the hub reader. It's working great. Um, I haven't tried CF flashcards in it yet. Or much of any other card. Um, but I did put in a micro SD card. And it... It seems to transfer a hair faster over USB than using a, uh, you know, a USB 2.0 adapter to whatnot have you reader for the micro SD cards. It's really good. It's really solid. It came with a power brick, which I've actually got plugged into it, and a, I think the USB cord should be a bit longer. Uh, it's long enough for the location of the system back here. So the location of this one to where it's at on the desk, it's barely, just barely long enough. Um, other than that, uh, advertises it 5 gigabits per second. Uh, it does compact flash. Uh, MS slot, an SD slot, a micro SD, and M2 slot. It's got all of it. I haven't used it much other than to have this on the desk and using it. I've got the hiccups today. Mm. But, you know, get on eBay. Um, or Amazon. I actually bought these two items from Amazon. Uh, I got a $50 or $40 or $50 gift card, I think, uh, from a friend. And, you know, I used it to buy these two items off eBay. So check them out. Um, let me see if. give you that. It should be enough info for you there to do that. Um, it does support an SDXC 2 terabyte. Um, micro SD M.2 adapter and it's really it's a really handy reader. It works in USB 2.0 and 3.0 and even back to 1.1 if you have something that old, which I think we do, but, well, what, what I have here under the desk, which is what I'm motioning to, is a lot older. But, you know, a quick review of everything, you know, change the drive out of the external drive, it works perfectly flawless now. Um, the faceplate's really easy to pop off and interchange it if you've got the right drive. Um, nice, compact, you can roll the... I don't know if I can. And you can roll cable up underneath. You know, put in a laptop case, what have you. Especially with today's modern laptops, and then there's a bit of a finger catch here that you just do that, and I'm done. Now, the reason we actually moved to this, I moved to this actually, um, is because 
the Ryzen no longer has a DVD drive in it. I took it out. I said I was going to go drive list and I did. So there is that. That's actually one of the factors as to why I chose this. Um, and also the Unitech uh, three port hub uh, multi card reader. And everything overall now, you know, with the external drive taking a bit of a change out on the drive side, everything's working solid now. So I would say if you've got a spare drive lying around from a laptop that's serial ATA and you get this drive, this nice black drive, which I find a bit of advertising issues here, but eh, semantics. Um, if you get this drive, make sure you've got a spare serial ATA around. You know, from an old laptop or something that doesn't work anymore. You might run into the same problem I did. I don't know. I may have gotten that fluke. It's an electronic device. Hello. But the Unitech card reader I think we're going to prove some pretty solid stuff out of it, so it's going to be uh, very interesting to see, I think. I think we might do a more in-depth review of this, I don't know, but overall my review on it is uh, the, the external drive out of a rating of 10, 3, you know, there was drive problems, guys. I can't give it no more than that. I had to actually work on it to get it working right with another drive. The Unitech card reader, on the other hand, I would give this thing a solid 10 out of 10. Um, it's, it's, you can't go wrong with it, especially if you're doing, you know, pictures on your digital camera or camcorder. You can't go wrong. But, that being said, uh, as always, like it if you like the video. Hate it if you hate the video. I'm going to be putting some links down in the descriptions for this stuff. Come on. But also, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you again for either another update or review. I hope it's a review. I really do. I love doing reviews. I mean, a month with a piece of hardware is just something so satisfying about it. But have fun. Love your hardware. Respect your hardware and electronics. And as always, join us again for another review or another update later down the road. And as always, peace out.